What is up sneaker YouTube? It's your boy Danny back with another video. I know it's been a minute. It's been most of August. Uh, pickups have been very slow, but in today's video, I get to review the newest colorway of the Slakey Bembury Croc Polex Clog. Now this was a win directly off of Croc's The Raffle. It's, it's wild. I know I didn't think it was real. I didn't think people actually won those. But yeah, my brother ended up winning the raffle for me. Um, picked them up, super, super, super hyped for him. Even though I already kind of gave a pope on these. So after that initial, you know, mess with the Silly Heat Bembry release on his website, cause it's trash. I kind of just ruled these out. Like I wouldn't be willing to spend money on these because if I can't get them for retail, then I don't really need them is how I'm gonna approach most of things the rest of the year. But I must admit these are really cool in person. And the purpose of this video is to tackle that main issue of sizing. So, here we have the sneaker. What I'm going to do is I'm going to give a quick review, go on the color. So I don't need to go too much into details because I already did that in the urchin video. Those I paid resell for, resell for. These were retail pickups, so they feel like, I don't know, like it's a cooler pickup. And I went size nine instead of that size 10. Um, for reference, I am a size 10 and a half in most things. At least I like to be in a 10 and a half. Uh, so let's do this review and then we will go sizing and I'll compare them to the urchin and, and give you guys examples, especially if you're still confused about this sizing in general. Let's get straight into it. So starting the review off, we're gonna look at the box. Um, same thing as the urchin, so I'm not gonna, not gonna go too deep into it. We have the footprints right there, the fingerprints, the Salehi and the Crocs and his fingerprint. I think it's like multiple layered fingerprints, nothing too crazy. Here is that size tag if you're curious. It's kind of crazy that they say orange sorbet. Um, the color really, really does match that. So I'm, I'm kind of confused as why he didn't, he didn't just name those to begin with. Cobblers seem a little out of place for me, but I don't know. I think orange sorbet, orange sor, wow, maybe that's why he didn't name them that way. Orange sorbet, they match the shoe or the clog way better. So I think my favorite aspect of the sneaker are actually the hints of like darker orange, almost like a really warm brown. It's kind of crazy. Right there, we have Crocs and Salehi Bembry trademark Croc logo. On the bottom of the footprint, the thicker rubber parts of the sole. Those are, I, that's the main portion of this shoe. Um, I was noticing it in with, uh, with the urchins, that this is basically where, like the weight of your foot lies when you're wearing, you're standing them or whatever, either this forefront or this back. So I gotta give it to him or the people at Crocs that actually like design these. Super nice, super cool, super comfortable. So here's that sizing tag. I did go US nine in these. For reference, size 10 and a half is what I like to go in. These are a pair of cooked black toes. You can find these on trade blog if uh, you're looking for a pair because these are up for trade. Um, getting back to it, these are the size I, I like to generally go for because of the width. I can go size 10 and Air Jordan ones, um, but I, I wear them a little bit looser. So for people that are wondering my size range or the sizes I do like for reviews on my channel, it's for people who have wide feet because that's that's what I have. So if you're the type of person who like wears shoes, that's really dependent on like where your foot ends, the, the top of your toe, then maybe my reviews aren't for you or you can take something from it. I don't, I don't know. Stick around and see if, you can, if, it, if it helps you, you know? So for me, I like the sides. That's where I focus the majority of like my sizing. Like for these, I have a bit of space right here in the toe, like not too much, not to, I can't like crease these too much. Um, I actually wore these out today uh, with my fiance. So let me show you real quick. I wore these out today and these are size 10, 990s, V3s. Um, this is the bodega pair. My, my big toe like lives right there. So I have like the tiniest bit of room right here. But when I wear these, this is the urchin colorway of the Salehi Bembry Crocs. This I had to get for resale, which kind of hurts some more. Um, for reference, on the back tab right here, we have 9M. For reference, we have 10M right now. And I do have other Crocs in a size 10 that fit me perfectly. But for some reason, this size 10 fits so big. So there's like a ton of confusion when it comes to the sizing of these sneakers. I kind of bet it on that size down from your croc size is what I think he was trying to get at. 
So if you look at these two shoes side by side, um, this looks just like uh, I put I put some Adidas next to it. it. They look like they would fit just nice. But since it's a different type of mold from the regular Crocs, it's a different type of everything, super thin. You have so much space on the sides and on everywhere else that it's crazy. So when I wear these, my toe ends like right here. So I have like a, like an inch, an inch of space on the toe and an inch of space on the side. There's so much room on the side that it's not a comfortable fit. Like I can stick my foot all the way to the top and have like an inch of just room right here. As for these, when I throw these on into size nine, they fit almost perfectly. So the sides aren't like as big. I'm, I fill it out a lot more. My toe isn't touching the very top. I still have some space right there. So in my mind, I'm like, if you're someone who really focuses on where your toe ends versus the size, maybe you can stay true to size because your foot would fill out the shoe a lot more and you're used to that. But if you're someone who like likes to like wear based on the width of your foot, then you're gonna have to size down. And that's usually weird because usually when you're wider, you size down more than your general person. And I know it gets really confusing. I've seen so many videos of people saying like, you know, I have a half size. I can't go a full size down from a half size. Uh, depending on your foot size, if 10 and a half is what I really wanted to go and I just went down half a size, it was still too roomy on me. But sizing down one and a half was like perfect. And I, was, I know there was a mention from Salehi directly. He mentioned that you should just size down from your normal size, but he didn't really specify what normal size. In my mind, it's Crocs. So if your Croc size is normally a 10, one size down, you should be fine. You should be, that's, that's exactly what I do right now. The other pair of Crocs I had to compare, I don't have them in the room right now. Um, I actually don't know where they are. Those are a size 10 and they fit me perfect. And what I mean by fit perfect is when you're wearing the shoe, uh, I know Crocs, I know Boston Clogs, um, Birkenstocks, they all have like this outlined pattern of where your foot and your big toe should go. It's right there on the inside. I can't really show you, or maybe you can, cause I'm seeing it right now. Hope that gets it. Maybe I can show you in the really bright one. So when I wear the size nine, my foot ends up there perfectly, like the ridge that where my, my little toes can fit, the ridge where my big toe fits, um, it's there perfectly. But on here, if my heel's at the very back, it's not doing it. Cause I guess I'm used to, or we're used to wearing shoes that have a little bit more padding in the back. So your foot's a little more elevated forward. In the cases of Birkenstocks and the cases of most clogs, the back either isn't as padded or sometimes not even there. So you're used to more of like a sliding in. So your, your foot really has to rely on the front of, of the shoe. If it doesn't, then you're gonna be like, you're gonna be slipping everywhere and it's not fun. I threw them on, I tried them out. It was super nice, super clean. As for these, I just, I've been wearing them. They are worn, but I've, I have to wear them with like really thick socks. And it kind of sucks down here in Florida because it's hot right now, but thick socks are the only way to really go. Uh, I actually might use these as trade bait now, now that I know a size nine fits me well. I think this is the size I'm gonna go for every single pair of clogs, Crocs, Polex, whatever moving forward. Any Salehi Bambury based thing. And that's what I'm gonna end this quick review uh, to address a lot of the things I've been seeing online. I guess I think I already did. You know, if you're in those half sizes, really consider sizing down one and a half. If you're in a full size and just do one full size down. So for example, my friend's a size eight and almost everything. If you would ask me, I just tell him go size seven. It's the safest thing you can do. Even if your claw, if your croc size is something different. Um, Cause it sucks to do what I did where I paid resale for these while they were at their peak, basically um, a couple of days after release um, before people were getting pairs in hand and they just didn't, they just didn't fit the way I was hoping they'd fit. Um, luckily, I know a lot of people that are size 10, size 11, who could try them on, see if they want them. So maybe this will just be trade bait for the foreseeable future. But we do have a lot of other Salehi Bambury Crocs releasing. Uh, don't hold out hope if you want to hit on the, his website, buy a bot or something, or buy a service. But hey, Crocs is handing out wins. I, I saw a lot of people hit wins from like local boutiques when those released. I haven't seen that much for this. We do have three other colorways coming out, so good luck with that. And I'm gonna see you guys in the next video. I've, I've missed doing videos for, for my channel. Let's see if I have anything else on the way or anything in the books. Um, I do have this cleaning video I'm trying to make work for some grimy ass, refined future New Balance 2002 art. So when we get there, we'll get there. 
I'm gonna see you guys in the next one. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for checking out. Don't worry about subbing or anything like that. I'm just glad to be back. We'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.